Randy is probably the flat earther who managed to make most videos with proofs that the earth is not flat. It's been a while since I made a video about him, but today it's time again. Welcome. Okay, so this video was sent to me by Brian Shuker. You who filmed, have you finally understood that you cannot handle a camera? Or have you sold your drone and P1000? He gave me the details of the observation. Perfect, then it will be easy to debunk this video. His coordinates can be found in the description below. His observer height, including tripod, was approximately 22 meters. From Formby in the UK, he started off looking at the Douglas complex seen here, which should be partially hidden by 17.5 meters of Earth curve. But to my eye, it is quite clear that we are seeing all the way down to the base. In other words, it looks flat, at least to me. Now, if anyone disagrees, I am sure you will let me know in the comments section below. Empty. Are you serious? Are you blind? Or are you really that stupid? Here is a high resolution image of the facility. It's taken at a different angle and from another direction. There are three platforms. In the, in the video, one is hidden. In other words, the smaller platform is closer. Eggs on the platforms are about the same height in the high resolution image. But in your video, the legs are much smaller on the big platform. Where are the missing parts of the legs, Ranty? As you see on this sketch, the platform stands on the bottom of the sea. Thank you, Ranty, for one more brilliant uh, proof that we don't live on a pizza-shaped earth. Okay, let's look a bit more on your video. So I could stop there. But there is more. Brian pans around looking at the Gwinty Moor wind turbine field. Oh, I'm getting seasick. Ranty, did you teach him how to handle a camera? He's just as bad at this as you are. Now, you can count with me if you like, but when we get to Wind Turbine 59, also known as G5Q, we can see some land behind that turbine. Using Google Earth, I am able to plot a line of sight and come to a hill called Mindy Fodden. The hill has an elevation of 178 meters at its high point. However, the area directly behind this turbine is 151 meters in elevation. The distance to the turbine is 37.4 kilometers and the hill is 83.4 kilometers. Now, the height of the hull for the Gwintymoor turbines is 98 meters and the hidden at this distance on a globe would be 33.5 meters or roughly one third of the height of the hull. Okay, Ranty lives on the moon. Because here on Earth we have atmosphere and we have refractions. So if we do this calculation using standard refractions, we get this result. Anyway, now to the hill. There should be a whopping 545 meters of drop on a globe to that hill. That is a colossal 348 meters of hidden, according to the globe maths. If we gave the globe enthusiast refraction, then there would still be 286 meters of hidden. In other words, even using bendy maths and super looming refraction, that hill would still be 135 meters below the horizon. That is absolutely correct. If we have chosen the right mountain and the right wind turbine, we live on a flat earth. Don't worry, 
this is Ranty, the great globe prover. Uh, let's have a closer look and find out where he has mistaken. This is the location of the turbine in the video according to Ranty. Uh, but have a close look in the background. This tower is a navigation aid and it's important in this debunk of Ranty's claims. This is a charter of Liverpool Bay. Down in right you have Liverpool. Uh, up here he was filming from, according to Ranty. Uh, here you had the wind farm and the tower that he tells it. We see this is the tower that's in the background, not up here. So, the angle to the, the windmill is another than the one Renty tells us. Because the angle is different, it's not the mountain that Renty tells us it is. What can it be? Let's have a look. If you use the coordinates in uh, Renty's description and draw a line over the tower, it will look like this. And if you use a topographic map and draw a similar line, you will see that it points ahead to mountains which are up to 1000 meters high. So now when we know in what, which direction the camera pointed, we also know that the first measurement to the windmill uh, was shorter than the one Ranty calculated. And Ranty, why are the windmills disappearing from the bottom up? The further away they are, the more is missing in the bottom. Why? Ranty, you succeeded once again and made a video proving that the Earth is not flat. Are you really that stupid? Or do you think your followers are so stupid so they believe your bullshit? That was all for this time. See you next time. Bye.